Welcome back to another FIFA 22 simulation and this time instead of giving Newcastle United a £1 billion investment we will be heading to North London and seeing how Tottenham Hotspur fare when Daniel Levy gives Antonio Conte a mega money transfer war chest. The rules are simple, I will start the career mode as Tottenham manager and apply the takeover feature to give them the sweet, sweet money. I will sim until January reflecting the last six months of normality and then in the January transfer window I will leave the club and see who they sign and what they win and achieve in the next four and a half seasons. Let's go. We've got an hour left on deadline day and we've made no transfers in or out as Tottenham manager. Will they finally win a trophy? Let's hope so. Oh, very, very interesting. Without transfers made, they are currently sitting fourth in the Premier League. So their odds on to try and get Champions League places. The, <laughs> the most shocking part, Wolves are first in the Premier League. They have an eight point gap. But let's now head into deadline day on the January transfer window and see if Tottenham make any signings. Right, so we're on deadline day and so far Tottenham have already spent in January 67.8 million pounds. They signed Enesri from Sevilla and Mats Hummels from Borussia Dortmund. Oh my God. Tottenham Hotspur have won the Premier League in the first season. They, 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 I can't believe it. Conte's... Conte ball is the way forward, obviously. <laughs> I didn't think it would happen this early. Might as well end the video here. Liverpool won the FA Cup. Liverpool also won the Carabao Cup. Atletico Madrid won the Champions League. Inter Milan won the Europa League. Yes! Tottenham also won the Conference League. And they've ended their drought. Congratulations to Tottenham. Now let's head into the new season where they get a full transfer window and see if they can retain their title and see how they fare back in the Champions League. Oh my days, Tottenham have so far spent £93.8 million. They're improving that back three. They've signed Joel Matip, they've signed Hermoso from Atletico, and they've signed Cragno, who I believe is a goalkeeper. Again, not active on deadline day, but they've spent £93.8 million. And also £234 million on Haaland from Real Madrid. Oh, so Tottenham at the halfway stage of the season have slipped down the table. They're currently in fifth, uh, not far off the top four spaces. Oh, so this is our first outgoing of the whole Tottenham simulation. They've sold Giovanni Lo Celso and they've also signed Henderson for 25.6 million. Now, I'm not sure if that's Dean Henderson or Jordan Henderson, so I'm gonna go and quickly find that out as well. Oh my, Tottenham have signed Jordan Henderson. So that's as far as Tottenham's transfer dealings go in January. So there you have it. Tottenham ended up finishing fifth in the Premier League. So that means they won't be in the Champions League next season. They'll be competing in the Europa League. Manchester United won the FA Cup. Wolves won the Carabao Cup. Inter Milan won the Champions League. Manchester City won the Europa League. Hoffenheim won the Conference League. But let's see how they fare going into another new season. Right, Tottenham had a little slump last season. Let's see if they can build on that first impressive season. Oh, <laughs> oh my days. I, I did not think I'd see this. For 289.7 million, they've signed... Robertson, Silva, and Militao. That's impressive. I can't lie. Tottenham are building a special team here. Tottenham were 100k off spending 300 million in the August transfer window of 2023. So Tottenham are currently sitting sixth in the Premier League. 41 points, 10 off the top four. It's, I'm a bit surprised, not going to lie, after what they spent. Tottenham are not mucking around here. They've sold Davison Sanchez for 21.9 million. And for 80 million, they've signed Anthony, who I think is from Ajax. Now, this is a very big sale. Tottenham have sold Tangi and Dombele. As, you know, in real life, he may be out the door. Oh, dear. Tottenham ended the season in seventh. For spending 300 million, that is very, very poor. Just, I just can't fathom it. 
just can't make sense of it. But let's see if they did win any other trophies. Manchester City won the FA Cup. Manchester United won the Carabao Cup. Barcelona won the Champions League. Real Betis won the Europa League. And Union Berlin won the Conference League. Who knows what's going to happen next? Right, we're in the penultimate season, seeing if Tottenham can get back to winning ways. Tottenham have signed, first of all, 108 million's worth of talent in Richarlison and Vlachodimos. But they've also sold, to, obviously this must have funded last year's transfer window, 259 million's worth of talent, which includes signings that they made in this campaign, or in this save, in Enesri, Hermoso and Matip. But the big news is they've let go of Harry Kane. As you can see in the bottom right, Harry Kane has been sold to Manchester United. So that's it, Tottenham didn't make any more moves on deadline day. So at the halfway mark of the season, Tottenham are currently fifth. One point off the top four. They're a Manchester United, Manchester United at ninth. After signing Harry Kane as well. <laughs> oh my God, I've only just noticed. They've signed Kevin De Bruyne and a player called Timber for 126.9 million. It's getting worse. Tottenham are eighth. Oh dear. 56 points and they finished eighth. I mean, that's what I get for going in on United. They ended up going from ninth to third. Arsenal won the FA Cup. Everton won the Carabao Cup. Barcelona won the Champions League. Manchester United won the Europa League. And Valencia won the Conference League. Another failed season, you could say. A lot of short-term success, it seems. I mean, is the Conte way. But with no European football, could they then next season mount a charge for the title? Right then, we're in the final season of this Tottenham simulation where we can finally decide whether this has been a success or a failure. <laughs> Tottenham, yeah, you do surprise me, I'm not going to lie. They've signed Florian Wirtz and Virgil van Dijk for a combined £138.5 million. Pounds. We've done it again, £151 million now. And they've signed David De Gea. Here we go. That's more like it. Tottenham are currently second place. As they've got no European football, they're focused on the league. So, so far in the whole of January, Tottenham have not made one signing. Just as I've said, they've made no signings. They've just gone and thrown at 61.6 million at a player called Simon. I'm going to have to look him up because I'm not really sure who he is. Oh, it's the Atletico Bilbao goalkeeper. Okay, yeah, that rings a bell. I mean, they've already got De Gea, who's 86 overall. Okay, we also have an outgoing at Tottenham. They've sold Bernardo Silva for 74.3 million. Now we all have to see where Tottenham end their fifth and final season. Tottenham fell off. No surprise, they bottled it. They finished fifth. Manchester City won the FA Cup. Liverpool won the Carabao Cup, Barcelona won the Champions League, Atletico Madrid won the Europa League, Liverpool won the Conference League. I think we just, it's, it's in the middle. I'm going to sit on the fence. You know, they've ended their trophy drought. They've spent more money than they usually do, signing some top talent. But obviously they're competing in an era where Chelsea, City and Liverpool exist. And one Premier League in five years is not bad at all. But what do you guys think? Who would you like us to do as a next simulation? Man United possibly, Arsenal, let us know down below. And if you haven't watched our Newcastle simulation, go and check that out. And don't forget to download the TalkSport Edge app.